The cancellation of all forms of live entertainment has left many people in the industry jobless and struggling. But a small group of Melbourne comedians is laughing in the face of adversity, as Iskander Razak reports. Obviously, I'm from Melbourne, um, so our Shelbyville is, uh, is, is Sydney. This is stand-up in lockdown. I've actually got uh, some footage from the town planning meeting. I've sold monorails to Broadbeach, SeaWorld and Sydneyville and by gum it put them on the map. To stop the spread of coronavirus, the curtains come down on all forms of live shows, including the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Uh, it was my biggest hunk of money for the year. I mean, it was kind of everything. I, I worked on a show for two and a half years uh, for Comedy Festival and I was really looking forward to doing it. And it's not just comics out of work. Producers, technical staff and more are suffering. The arts and entertainment industry brings in $111 billion in Australia's GDP. But instead of quitting, these would-be festival acts are bringing their shows online. Tickets are sold on a pay-what-you-can model. To earn some sort of coin is very important because money can be exchanged for goods and services, as well as food. There are problems like lag and the crowd must be muted. Well, the main difference is you can't hear people laughing. The lack of laughter isn't the only technical difficulty that a comedy Zoom show has. There's also the problem that heckling, boo, is completely different as well. The heckles are written in and laughter is its own show. I direct people to laugh like this, yeah, the, the way that deaf people clap. It works and while no one says this will replace the real deal, it's bringing a smile to many. In times like this, I've noticed there's been a marked increase in people's gratitude when we've done stuff. And that's worth a round of applause. Iskander Razak, ABC News, Melbourne. Time for the weather now. Here's Paul Higgins.